Hello, welcome to our church service for Sunday the 26th of July 2020. This is the first of three videos uh, and when you get to the end of this one, uh, if you'd just like to choose the next one when it comes up on the screen at the end of this video, it should take you on to the next one. It's always a bit of an adventure with YouTube, isn't it? Uh, today we're on the third of three uh, uh, lookings at Romans chapter 8 where St Paul says that nothing shall separate us from the love of Christ because we can totally rely on the love of God expressed through Jesus. So we're going to begin our service today uh, with the hymn Love Divine or Love's Excelling written by Charles Wesley. Uh, John, his brother, thought it was a bit over-emotional but of course it's become a firm faith because it expresses to us something about the deep truths of following Jesus. Love divine or love's excelling. Our Lord Jesus' love divine consists of the fact that although we don't deserve it, he still loves us from the bottom of our hearts. The Lord be with you. Let's ask him into our hearts to put the spotlight on that which needs cleaning, to cleanse us inside and to renew us by the presence of his Holy Spirit among us. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ died for us in order that we might go to be with him forever. He gave up his life as a ransom to set us free. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, 
let's do so in the certain knowledge that he wants to forgive us more than we want to confess. And let's do so in the assurance that he's going to be with us forever. Father eternal, giver of life and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and lead us out of darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. In our Bible reading today, Paul says, If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Let's be quite certain of the fact that God loves us, and he wants to forgive us from the bottom of his heart. May Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and we will proclaim your praise. We worship you, O Lord. All praise to your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And so, we're going to have some songs of worship in which we can express our freedom and liberation and adoration of our Lord God. Let's draw close to the presence of our Lord God. Let's give him our worship and our praise and invite his Holy Spirit into our hearts. I will worship. I will worship, I will worship with all of my heart. I will praise you I will praise with you. all of my strength. I will seek you, I will seek you, all of my days, all my days, I will follow, I will follow, all of your ways, all your ways, I will give you all my worship, I will give to equip his people with love and power and discipline and self-control. Let's ask for God's Holy Spirit to come into our lives and complete us with his love and his power. I will worship you with all of my mind, and I will 
I will seek your face with all of my mind, and I will seek your face with all of my strength, for you are my Lord, for you are my Lord, for you are my Lord. of a longer song holy 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 is the lord almighty who was and is to come but he can come into our hearts by his holy spirit holy spirit come and fill our hearts anew holy spirit holy spirit come and That's the end of the first of these three videos, so just choose the next one when it appears on the screen in a moment, and we'll see you in the next video.